Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. Any fan watching the Steelers through the first three weeks of the season knows the offensive woes. Not scoring on opening drives, not possessing the ball long enough to avoid a lopsided time of possession, missing open wide receivers, dropped passes when those wide receivers are targeted, and short runs by Najee Harris. And of course, the inability to convert third downs. The Steelers depot crew has talked a lot about the offense's struggles to avoid three and outs. They currently own an unacceptably low success rate of 33%. In his terrible take yesterday, Alex Kazora talked about the importance of changing that against a talented Jets defense. I want to go one step further and look at how the Pittsburgh offense can change that pattern today. Against their three prior opponents, the Jets defensive line faced solid run games from the Ravens, Browns, and Bengals and stood strong. That doesn't mean the Steelers can't run against them, and they will need to. In the first three weeks, the offense has managed to get to third and manageable often. They just need to finish the job and earn that next first down. Looking at what the Jets' defense has done based on down and distance, there is a way. On the bright side, the Jets' defense is giving up a third down conversion rate of over 51%. On third down with three yards or less needed, the Jets' defense is giving up a first down of 80%, whether it's a rushing or passing attempt. With four to six yards to go on third down, no opponent has attempted a running play, and the Jets give up a 50% completion rate for a 40% first down conversion rate. On third down needing between seven and nine yards, the Jets gave up an average of 14.8 yards per play for a 33% conversion rate. With the opposing offense needing 10 yards or more on third down, the Jets allowed two touchdowns but forced a punt on most other plays. What do those numbers tell us? In order to produce sustained drives that will hopefully result in touchdowns rather than field goals, or even worse, a punt, the Steelers don't need to dramatically change what they're doing on first and second down. They need to commit to their run game with a mix of Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, including plays to the outside rather than charging up the middle, where the Jets have held their gaps. When they only need short yardage on third down, they shouldn't get cute and go long, where their completion rate is low. They can run or pass for short yardage and be successful. On third down with more than five yards to go, quarterback Mitch Trubisky needs to pass the ball, but he doesn't need to go long there either. Short passes that will simulate a run game but get wide receivers out in space can move the chains. It's also beyond time to get tight end Pat Fryermuth back in the game plan. Explosive plays would be great, but consistent plays that allow the Steelers' offense to maintain possession can be enough to come away with a win today. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter, at Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com and check out The Terrible Podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.